In this Know Your Hot Tub video, we're gonna look at the self-cleaning uh, skimmer area and how to maintain that every week. So there is a little basket in here that will catch dirt and debris, bugs, sticks, that kind of stuff. And this faceplate just lifts up and pops off. Now, one thing to note is there is a side marked top. Make sure that when you have it back on, you're putting the top on the upper side there. Uh, because if you put it on sideways or upside down and force it on, uh, it's going to be tricky to get off. It can be done, but you got to pry it off with a screwdriver and you might break something. So just it's really important just to note which side says top. So once you have that face plate off, this is called a weir door, and that will just slide open like that. And then you can see our basket in there. It's got a little handy tab here you can use to lift it out. And it just pulls out like this. So if any stuff is in here, like hair, dirt, debris, bugs, twigs, seeds, anything like that, you just rinse it out, empty it out, clean it out, then put it back in with this little tabby thing on the top. Just slide it in the opening like this, and then it just pops back into the hole there. Also, when you're draining your tub, if you're using the self-clean function, you want to be able to take that out so you can put your skimmer plug in there so that when you're draining the tub using the self-clean pump, then uh, it won't be sucking air through that hole. So that's a really important step if you're using the self-clean system to drain your tub. So just put your basket back in, slide the weird door back in, find the side marked top, and it should just pop on. It's awkward trying to uh, film this while I'm doing it. Yeah, just like that, and slide it down like that. If it's difficult, you might be doing it wrong. It should be very easy to pop on and off, but it also should stay on sturdy once it's on, okay? So hope that helps, and that's just part of your weekly maintenance, just checking on that. If you are in an area, if your tub's inside, or it's in an area where there's not a lot of trees or stuff getting in the tub, you don't have to check it as often, uh, but a lot of people have a lot of trees around their tubs and bugs and seeds and people with long hair getting in, then uh, it's really important to do that. So hope that helps and you have a great day.